Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I was going to vlog this weekend, but it ended up being super busy, so I didn't vlog. Today is Sunday, and I thought I would sit down with you guys to talk about my day yesterday. So, Georgia just knocked her bowl over. So yesterday, I decided to audition for a Nutcracker Ballet in the area. I figured since I was in a brand new area that it would be fun to start doing Nutcracker again. Um, the last time I did a classical ballet Nutcracker, there's Georgia, um, I was 21 and now I am 28 years old. So for one thing, I had not danced that intensely for probably that long. I had done dancing, but more casually within the past like five or six years. And I did do a little bit of point, but I had not put on any point shoes in a few years now. Well, I did take a couple of classes. I did take two classes before this audition, so I wasn't completely going into this cold turkey, but my body still was not fully prepared for an audition. The audition was two hours long. It had about 30 girls, and I was the only adult that I knew of. Everyone else looked like that they were in high school, and I'm sure nobody knew except for the artistic director. Nobody knew my actual age because I've always been super short, and I tend to blend right in. I may have looked a little bit older, but not... I don't think anybody could have guessed that I was 28 years old. This audition was a little bit different than other auditions that I had been to in the past. One of the biggest differences that I noted was that on the audition form, they did not ask for any information other than basic info, like your name and your age. Usually they will ask what your experience is, where you trained, how many years you've been training, what specific styles of dance you are trained in. And to be fair, I had talked to the artistic director before and she knows how long I had been training and where I had trained, so she already knew that, but I just find it kind of weird that they didn't ask it at all. Really the only thing they asked was if you had any conflicts. The other thing I noticed was that height was not really an issue or like a big factor. Normally in other auditions that I've gone to, they line you up by height to see like how you are compared to other dancers. Like if you're, there are some that are too tall and some that are too small for certain roles. That didn't seem to matter. I find that a very good thing because you know, my height usually held me back when I was younger because I was always much shorter and I would be, I guess that was kind of a factor as far as why I didn't get certain parts. So how the audition was run was it was run like a classical ballet class and every audition I've been to is run exactly like that. So you start off with bar for about 30 minutes or so just to warm up and then for the center portion, you are usually taught different snippets from different pieces. So for example, we split up into groups and did a little, like, four counts of eight of the Arabian solo. And we each group would do it two times. Some of them we did three times because they were a lot shorter and faster. Like for Chinese, that is a very short and quick solo. So they had us do that one three times. So the ones that we did, we did the Arabian, we did Chinese, and we did Russian. That was 
before we went on our point shoes. We went on our point shoes for the last 45 minutes of the audition. And then we did some snippets from snowflakes. We did flutes. We did dewdrop. And then we did like a little Clara snippet to kind of test our acting. So it was the part where she's running around and getting scared by the mice. So that was mainly to see if we could act, which is also really important for a show. Overall, I was really impressed with how well I did given the circumstances. I am normally not a very flexible person and Arabian is one of those where you are usually like super flexible and stretchy and there was a step that we had to do where we had to like take our leg, I'm not going to demonstrate it right now because I'm sitting down, but you grab your leg from your back and you pull it up as high as you can, um, not necessarily having to get it straight, but I was able to do it and I had never been able to really do that before, so I was really impressed that I was able to do that. Um, Chinese was super duper fast. The jumps were like super quick and super fast, so you could not jump very high, otherwise you would fall behind. Um, Russian, we got to do a portion where we got to show off any tricks that we had, like cartwheels or fuetes. I did fuetes and I nailed them, which I was very happy that I did. Um, we did a couple different things when we got on our point shoes. To warm up, we just did kind of borés across the room, and then we did um, a little combination with like échappés and passés, and we did a pirouette combination. That was the flutes, actually. That was the marzipan shepherdesses, or the flutes is what they're, they're the same thing, but we did that. Um, we did PK turns around in a circle, which I did fine, but after the fact, my ankle started hurting, and I think I may have twisted it doing that. Um, it still hurts today, so I'm resting it, but it's not that bad. It's mainly when I move my foot in a certain direction. I can still walk, I'm just a little bit slower. And it's just if I move my ankle a certain way, then it'll start to hurt. I've been icing it every once in a while and keeping it elevated, but I was fine. I made it through the rest of the audition. It didn't really hurt at the time when after the PK turns, I mean, it hurt a little bit, but I guess the adrenaline kept me going because we still had um, another snippet of dewdrop and then we had the, the acting bit. So that was basically the whole audition. The artistic director did say that she would not be able to cast everybody because they are having a smaller cast due to COVID regulations, but we are still having a live show. They just have to have a smaller cast. She said for those who had been cast before, but not this year, to not take it personally. Um, so there is a chance that I may not even be cast at all. There's a chance that I will get cast, and I don't know really what to expect. Today is Sunday, the audition was Saturday, and she said by Thursday at the latest, we would hear whether or not we are in it, or not and what parts we get. I tend to think it'll be sooner than Thursday because they'll usually give them themselves more time than they actually need so that way they can cast it and people won't be bugging them about the cast list. But yeah, it was a really good experience. I am happy that I did it and I am excited, hopefully, if I'm in it. Obviously, I don't know what I am yet, but probably by the time this video actually comes out, I will know, but I'm not going to say anything until the next video. I'm not going to like insert any text saying, 
anything. Um, but I will certainly tell you if I am in it or not. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. It was quite an exhausting day, but I'm glad that I did that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.